This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth. And what you're looking at here, folks, is obviously a picture of the Vice President of the United States, Kamala Harris, with the President of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky. And I'm sure you've heard by now that President Joe Biden is apparently incredibly confused about who these people are. Uh, he confused Kamala for Vice President Trump, and he also referred to Zelensky as President Putin. Uh, here are the videos of his latest major gaffe. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President, but I think she's not qualified to be President. So let's start there. Whoops. Number one. <laughs> the man is insane. Uh, we see here, uh, this is where he introduces Zelensky as President Putin. And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. Whoops. President Putin. He's going to beat President Putin. President Zelensky. I'm so focused on beating Putin, we got to worry about it. Anyway. Mr. President, I'm better. The man is clearly absolutely losing it, and the media is uh, losing it over this as well. Biden is losing his train of thought, calls Harris Vice President Trump. Uh, he's praising Vice President Trump during the rambling of this post-NATO presser. Uh, or this one, Biden calls Zelensky President Putin in biggest gaffe yet with his political life hanging by a thread. Or this one, Biden introduces Ukraine Zelensky as President Putin in front of NATO leaders in the latest brutal gaffe. So <laughs> I think the press secretary has got her work cut out for her uh, when it comes to responding to all the questions I'm sure that are going to be coming in tomorrow. But what's interesting, guys, is that while Vice President Trump and President Putin uh, is is all, you know, uh, trending here, VP Trump is trending. Well, look what else happens to be trending today that isn't getting the attention that it deserves. This right here, Trump Pato files, folks. Um, yeah, that's right. Uh, the Trump pedophiles are trending at the same time, but as I said, it's not getting the attention that it deserves. So in this video, guys, we're going to take a quick look at all of this and much, much more in this video. But really quickly before we do, guys, I'd ask that you check me out here at subscribestar.com slash press for truth if you appreciate my efforts to bring you this info. Here you can do uh, five bucks a month, ten bucks a month. 20, bu 20 bucks a month, whatever is within your means is very greatly pre appreciated, guys. Uh, you can click that top link in the description below if you want to support my efforts here at subscribestar.com slash press for truth. Thank you so much to everybody who takes one minute today to join me over here at Subscribestar. All right, guys, uh, Biden praising Vice President Trump during rambling post-NATO presser. Uh, that was rough. <laughs> After introducing Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky as Vladimir Putin, then arriving to his own press conference more than 50 minutes late, a coughing, slurring Joe Biden then called Donald Trump his vice president as he attempted to show the world what a goodest boy can do. And just check out the reaction from Biden's team here as this video captures in real time how they reacted to him saying Vice President Trump. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President. Look at their faces. He's Look. not qualified He's to like, be president. Oh, uh, what? Let's start no. there. Did did he just? Yeah, uh, yeah. We're we're screwed. Uh, we're 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 totally screwed. It's pretty much what he's thinking here. Um, he slurred his way through an answer on whether or not he thinks that he should take another neurological exam. Um, he uh, then blamed his staff for his horrendous debate performance last month, telling the audience that he's he's catching hell from his, his wife over it. Uh, he was also essentially blaming a cold. He was blaming, uh, you know, jet lag, all sorts of nonsense for that train wreck of a debate. Um, apparently, uh, Biden follows the advice of his commander in chief as well, whoever that is. I don't know if this is a gaffe or more of a Freudian slip. I'm following the advice of my commander in chief, my 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 the chief of staff of the military. He's following the advice of his commander in chief. <laughs> Good question. Who the heck is that? Well, I think everybody knows at this stage in the game, this man is a puppet on a string who's being 
you know, controlled by puppet string pullers. The, the man can't run a country. He could barely run a bath. It's obvious what's going on here. Um, this person points out that it's super creepy when he uses that whispering voice. <laughs> I haven't seen this one until today. Look at this. No one's saying that. No poll says that in this creepy, creepy whispering voice. But wait, there's more. Um, these two clips are apparently said 50 seconds apart, folks. Listen. Is, is Putin ready to talk? I'm not ready to talk to Putin. I'm prepared to talk to any leader who wants to talk, including if Putin called me and wanted to talk. <laughs> like, how can any rational human being watch this and not sit there and conclude that he's either completely, you know, falling apart or he's a, a, a really brilliant actor who's, who's doing his part to prompt up this man to be the next president of the United States. I mean, this one was a pretty bad one here, um, where he, he calls, uh, Zelensky president Putin. Like, uh, now I want to hand it over like to the president everybody must have been like, who has as much courage as he has completely shocked determination ladies and gentlemen president putin now here's the thing guys you know at 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 this stage in the game um someone like donald trump or or joe biden does not become president of the united states unless the powers that ought not be are going to allow that to happen and uh and, and obviously uh, Biden is their man right now, but, but, but Trump is next in line and they are currently paving the way for that. But let's not forget, you know, Trump pedophiles are, are uh, trending right now because of his deep connections with the uh, uh, pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. I mean, you can, you can go and look at the trend yourself, Trump pedophiles, and watch some of these videos and uh, some of the clips that are going around right now uh, showing his very close relationship to, to Jeffrey Epstein and uh, how, you know, they were viewing young girls together back then. Um, it, it's, it's pretty revealing and pretty telling that this man is easily controllable. You know, and whether or not that Donald Trump realizes that he is being used as part of this false left-right paradigm is... is is, you know, uh, re remains to be seen. I mean, he, he may very well know that he is a puppet being controlled and he may not. But as I said, at this stage in the game, it appears that they are paving the way for the Trump presidency. And if you think that, you know, the, the deep state and the secret government who have been working for many, many, many decades to gain a tight grip of control over uh, America is just going to allow this reality TV star, you know, billionaire guy to just come around and ruin everything for, for them. I mean, you're gravely, gravely mistaken. And I want to remind you, uh, back during the, the last time he was campaigning, we were seeing similar things coming from his opposition. Remember when all these uh, videos were going around of Hillary Clinton looking all wobbly and, and like fainting, you know, before being carried off and put in put into a van and that had a lot of people questioning like is she healthy is she fit is she able to even do the job in the first place and obviously you know he didn't drain the swamp she never went to jail she's perfectly fine to this day and now we're seeing a similar play with uh, Joe Biden uh, allegedly going, you know, insane. And as I said, he either is, you know, suffering from this dementia and the powers that ought not be are going to use this to their advantage to, you know, put, you know, one of their two men in, Biden or Trump. It really doesn't matter at this stage in the game, you know, or he's a brilliant actor. Either way, like I said, what is happening now is being allowed to happen. And I've, I've explained it many times how, you know, these things work with COINTELPRO and when you're, you know, infiltrating activist communities, one of the things that they do is purposefully arrest an undercover police officer to give them that sort of street cred. 
you know, amongst the other activists that they must be trustworthy and legit. And that's exactly what happened with Donald Trump. And I called it out on day one, May 30th, 2024, the day it was announced. Uh, as you see here, May 30th, 2024, on the day it was announced that, he, you know, he's convicted felon of, of all, you know, the charges. I said, this BS is more choreographed than a ballet. Trump has been selected already. He will win. Just watch how this tweet ages. The false left-right paradigm is in full swing and everyone's buying it. One side will say, you elected a felon. And the other side will say, BS. And guess who wins, guys? The New World Order is the one who wins. So make no mistake about it. As I said, what you are seeing today is not simply by chance. Everything is more choreographed than like a professional wrestling match. So right now, it looks like the powers that ought not be are looking to pave the way for a Donald Trump presidency. But as I said, at this stage in the game, it really doesn't matter. Biden, Trump, they're both puppets on a string being manipulated by the puppet string pullers. And the, 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 the foreign wars that are going to go on are, are going to continue to happen regardless of which man is selected at this stage in the game. Um, now, this obviously begs the big question. If, if I have a, such a big problem with democracy, then what am I suggesting here as the alternative to that? And I did put together a very comprehensive video uh, report on that because I made a documentary way back in, I think it was 2015, called... The democracy deception but after so many questions about okay so what are you suggesting here i had to follow that up with the democracy deception part two and uh i i'll, I'll leave you with a link to that today guys and i'd strongly encourage you to check it out the democracy deception part two what's the alternative um democracy is the deception that we are somehow progressing just because we vote when really, democracy is just another form of communism. And like any communist state, the erosion begins with the family. In this video, Dan Dix of Press for Truth goes over the various pros and cons of what may someday replace democracy, but more importantly, how traditional morals, standards, and values need to make a strong comeback before we can ever achieve a libertarian slash anarchist utopia. And that should also be one of the main takeaways from, from this video today, is that while they continue to manipulate the false left-right paradigm, what we should be focusing on is decentralizing from the system completely, uh, seceding in every possible way, not being under the controls and the clutches of the government or, or, or the banksters who are truly running both sides of this U.S. selection process. And the, the best way to do that is to, uh, you know, get, get yourself out of debt. Don't be reliant on government programs. Don't be reliant on the banks. Don't even be reliant on the grocery stores. You know, at this stage in the game, you know, you have to step outside of this system and not look to these selected leaders to save the day for you. So... Just wanted to bring all of that to your attention. It looks like what we're seeing now is a little bit of a, a, a repeat of what we've saw in 2016 with videos now of Joe Biden apparently, you know, not being fit to run. This whole thing is a major, major psyop. As I said, it's like two sides of the same coin, two wings of the same bird here. And unless people understand that we truly are in a false left-right paradigm, they're going to continue to be manipulated into going along with democracy, which is the illusion of choice. Once again, guys, don't forget to check out the Democracy Deception Part 2, What's the Alternative? And don't forget to check me out at Subscribestar dot com slash press for truth if you appreciate my efforts to bring you this information and that's all for today guys i want to thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to click that thumbs up button share this video and stay tuned we're going to have more video reports coming soon this is dan dix reporting for press for truth we all want truth, truth.